All right, so it's uh, Sean and Alley Cat here. Um, so what I wanted to talk about with you guys today has to do with the human soul, the animal soul, conscious living beings' souls, and um, how they are connected to one another. Um, so... Your human soul is attached, metaphorically speaking, to, and, and actually literally as well in some ways, to your human body. So your human body and your human soul are, have a partnership in this lifetime you're living. Okay? A partnership. The body is very much... The body is very much superficial window dressing, and your soul, which I would call your consciousness, the part of you that does exist, the part of you that knows that you are real, you are the experiencer of these illusionary realities, your soul. Okay? So your consciousness, your soul, is eternal. But it is temporarily connected to what you would call your body. And it works together to form what you perceive as your identity as a human being with a living, conscious soul, energy, higher self, whatever you want to call it. Okay, So... Cat or the dog, the animal in general, also is connected to consciousness, their soul. However, there's a difference in what you might call the evolutionary level. I mean, when I say level, it almost sounds like one's better than or less than. Human soul, animal soul, it's not better than, less than. The consciousness that is experiencing a physical reality that's that's connected to the animal's physical body is in a different evolutionary stage, commonly as opposed to the human being and the soul that's connected to the human being's body living their version of reality. So the animal soul is learning different lessons, is experiencing different things, gaining wisdom in different areas, has a different focus than human souls would have in general. This is just an in general, on average, it's not across the board. Not at all across the board. But generally speaking, yes, the animal souls and the human souls have different things that they're focused on. And it's based on the consciousness's evolutionary journey. In a lot of cases, consciousness will experience temporary physical realities connected to animal bodies. Eventually, the consciousness moves to merging with something like a human body. Now, I haven't really talked a lot about the evolution of consciousness and because of that, I don't have the, the, the most comfortable way of summarizing it in an easy-to-understand format. So I'm just going to kind of throw things out. And over time, I'll be able to be more specific and more clear. But I just wanted to kind of throw that out there just to kind of get a feel for what you guys are perceiving when it comes to human and animal and the differences in their consciousness. Animal consciousness is that the, the consciousness that's connected to animal bodies usually does not have a well-defined sense of self. However, most consciousness that's connected to human bodies has a, a well-developed sense of self. The most 
So, so consciousness is on its own journey. And connecting to an animal's body and living those lifetimes, the consciousness experiences things, evolves, so to speak. Eventually, the consciousness is ready to merge with human bodies to learn the lessons and experiences that a human physical being would be experiencing, a human with who has amnesia, forgets. When humans are born, they forget the amnesia, free will, the perception of separation, the perception of an identity, the, the false perception that you are that you are not connected to everything, that you are alone. So it's a very intense and unique experience, this consciousness that's going through these physical human bodies. Consciousness, the same, same consciousness that's in you, that's within you, your soul. Back in the day, way, way back, your consciousness, your soul was experiencing realities, physical realities, in animal type beings, physical bodies. So anyway, like I said, I'm, I'm starting, uh, just starting out with, uh, with this kind of um, um, focus when it comes to uh, consciousness and souls. And um, yeah, so hopefully uh, that resonated with some of you guys and I'll see you again.